Hi, I'm Paul Lager, Vice President of Governmental Affairs for the Minnesota Realtors. And I'm Ryan Hamilton, Associate Legal Counsel with the Minnesota Realtors. Welcome to this week's Legislative Update. Well, as a busy week at the Capitol, this was second committee deadline week, which means that uh, bills that have a policy effect have to make it through all the relevant policy committees uh, in both bodies to remain alive for the rest of the session. So committees were working uh, double time to hear all the bills that need to be heard. And that meant that we were, Ryan and I, were running from committee to committee on both sides of the street all week long. So we're, we're glad the week is coming to a close. Um, a few, a few quick updates. The residential PACE bill, the Property Assessed Clean Energy uh, Consumer Protections Bill, which we've been working on throughout the session, uh, made it through another committee on the House side. It's passed by the uh, House Job Growth and Energy Affordability Committee. That makes six committees uh, that that bill has been uh, heard and passed by between the Senate and the House, uh, and it's now in the tax committees uh, in both the Senate and the House. So we'll have at least one more hearing on each side. Uh, before the session is over. Um, we also had uh, a little bit of excitement. There was a, an amendment that would have required uh, well testing at property transfer that was offered in the uh, Senate Health and Human Services Committee. Uh, the Department of Health and the Department of Commerce testified in favor of the amendment. Uh, I testified with our concerns about placing this burden on uh, those who happen to be in a real estate transaction rather than having a comprehensive statewide approach. Uh, the author of the amendment, uh, Senator Matt Klein, uh, ultimately withdrew the amendment so it did not receive a vote and was not added to the bill. Uh, finally, the legislature is heading towards a, an Easter Passover recess, so uh, they will be out March 30th and returning April 9th for the final stretch of the legislative session. So I'd like to turn over to Ryan for an update on, on another issue. Hi folks. Housing First uh, rulemaking review bill received its final committee hearing this week, this time in the uh, Jobs Committee. Um, I was able to testify in that hearing, focusing my testimony on our inventory problem, uh, especially inventory under the $300,000 price point. And what we heard in the hearing uh, throughout the process from the builders is that it's just incredibly difficult uh, for them to build new homes under that $300,000 price point because of government level regulations. Um, the bill at hand focuses on state level regulations and a lot of the pushback uh, we received dealt with the price point we set uh, for, the, for the review to be triggered and that's a $1,000 um, um, amount for any new unit of housing. Uh, that number was not pulled out of the air. Uh, Batsy has data saying for every $1,000 in increased regulatory costs, 4,000 potential homeowners are priced out of the market. Um, so the, the, it was a good hearing of the three hearings we've had on this bill. It was probably the most robust conversation, um, and we look forward to continuing this conversation about housing affordability. Thanks for watching this week.